Hello everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about iOS built-in VPN, whether or not you should rely on it, and some VPN alternatives that you can use instead. So without further ado, let's get started. Also, if at any point in this video, you'd like to check out any of the VPNs that I mentioned today, you'll find all the useful links, including discounts in the description down below. Now, the personal VPN feature found in macOS and iOS offers a convenient way to set up and manage VPN configurations using built-in protocols like like IPSEC or ICAF2. However, it's not a third-party VPN service, which means that it doesn't provide device-wide encryption like traditional third-party VPNs. The VPN called Private Relay focuses primarily on encrypting Safari's DNS-related traffic and a limited subset of traffic from certain applications on your device. And so connections your apps establish within your local network or to private domain names remain unaffected. Also, this Private Relay won't grant you the ability to access content from other countries, which is a key function of most VPNs. Such content would be exclusive streaming libraries, e-banking services, and websites that could be restricted in your own location. And to add to that, this private relay does not have the ability to obfuscate web traffic. This means that while conventional VPNs mask their encrypted traffic to resemble regular internet traffic, Private Relay doesn't do much obfuscation. VPNs with obfuscation features make sure that their web traffic remains inconspicuous, which is essential for accessing the internet safely and anonymously. Now, Apple occasionally uses the term obfuscation in a more general sense to describe how private relay traffic might appear normal in some contexts such as when connecting to a business or school network. However, the traffic from Private Relay's proxy servers is easily recognizable and the service doesn't incorporate the type of obfuscation commonly associated with traditional VPNs. And to add to that, Private Relay lacks several key features often found in full-fledged VPN services. Features like split tunneling, a kill switch, and multi-hop capabilities, which contribute significantly to user privacy are absent from Private Relay. So if you're expecting comprehensive VPN capabilities, Private Relay may not meet those expectations. Its primary purpose is to conceal your IP and DNS while using Safari and a handful of Apple-related applications. Also, it's not offered as a standalone service. Rather, it's bundled as part of the iCloud Plus subscription, which is paid, of course. So instead of paying for an incomplete VPN service, you can instead get a premium VPN that will give you way more value for your money. And so I've been testing out some of the most popular VPNs out there and I've narrowed them down to ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark as my top three picks overall. Now, of course, these VPNs work remarkably well with streaming services. They provide some of the best speeds, they're very easy to use, and they also have the necessary security features such as the kill switch, split tunneling, and a bunch of other protocols. But of course, they still vary in what features they offer, how much they cost, and picking out the best service for you will depend on what you're looking for in a VPN. So let me break down each service individually to help you make a more informed decision. First up, we have ExpressVPN, which is the overall best pick as it came first in most major categories like speed, security, and privacy. Now, in terms of reliability, ExpressVPN has proven its commitment by protecting user data several times by conducting many audits over the years. On top of going through a real-life stress test where the Turkish government sees one of its servers in an ongoing investigation, only to find nothing that can be linked to any specific user. Now, other than that, ExpressVPN has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, allowing you to access almost any content from all around the world. But what's so impressive about these servers and their consistency and reliability, whether I'm streaming, gaming, or torrenting, I've had great speeds and uninterrupted connections. And besides being super simple to use, my favorite thing about ExpressVPN is how responsive it is across all devices. Launching the app only takes a few seconds and connecting to any server takes a single second or less, which isn't something that I can say about other VPNs. And so if you're looking for the overall best, fastest, and most reliable VPN out there, ExpressVPN is your go-to. Next up, we have NordVPN, which offers the most value for the money out of these three VPNs. It's got some bonus features that make it a little more than just a simple VPN. Such features include threat protection, which blocks ads and malware-ridden websites, and also protects your device from harmful files. And in terms of speeds, NordVPN actually rivals ExpressVPN, especially when it comes to gaming and overall performance. Although it's got over 5,400 servers in 60 countries, so 34 less countries 
countries, which means access to less content than Express. But more servers will mean that the user base is more widely spread across the servers, so basically more room for everyone to use. And another thing I really liked about NordVPN is its intuitive user interface, which has a huge map of all its servers, allowing you to pick and choose the closest server to you within a couple of clicks. And when it comes to device limits, NordVPN allows you to protect up to six devices with one subscription, as opposed to the five device limit of ExpressVPN. And so if you're looking for the best value VPN, Nord offers a few more useful features, an intuitive interface, and a great overall performance. And finally, we have Surfshark, which is gonna be the best budget VPN on this list. Because unlike ExpressVPN and NordVPN, Surfshark allows you to protect an unlimited number of devices under one subscription which is great for households and businesses. Now, it might not be as fast as these two, but it offers the essential VPN features on top of some bonus ones, like an ad blocker, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode, and rotating IP, which can be very useful in restricted countries. Not only that, but it offers a huge server list of over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which gives it a lot of value. And so, if you're looking for the best budget VPN that allows unlimited simultaneous connections on top of having the core features of a VPN, Surfshark is your go-to. So to sum it up, if you're looking for the overall best, fastest, and most reliable service with arguably the best privacy policy out there, ExpressVPN is easily your go-to option. NordVPN is going to be the one to get if you're looking for a well-rounded VPN that offers bonus features while maintaining great performance and security for a reasonable price. And finally, Surfshark is going to be the best budget VPN as it allows for unlimited connections and it offers the core features of a premium VPN at the cheapest possible cost. Now, if you're interested in Surfshark, we have an exclusive discount that's only available for fans of our channel, and I'll show you how that works. So if you go directly to Surfshark's website, the deal you'll currently get is 24 months for $249 per month, saving you around 81%. And with other channels and websites, you'll get just two free months in total and an 82% discount. However, if you use our exclusive coupon code, you'll be getting three free months in total, saving you 83%, which is the best deal available on the internet. And that's it for today's video. Again, if you're interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find all these links, including discounts, in the description down below. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions, as I love getting to interact with you guys. Like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful or would like to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.